Hey everyone, today I have for you my Kales by Victoria March 1st order review. Um, for those of you who don't know, Victoria had a massive sale, bigger than her usual first of the month sales. It was 20% off if you spend $50 or more, I think. And since I hadn't made an order in forever, like, it was probably over six months, um, I made a giant order. It was over $100. But it was my birthday money that I used. Um, my birthday was the end of February, so I figured March 1st was a perfect time to take advantage of that sale. And these reviews are just going to be my first impressions of these scents. Um, and I'll do more in-depth reviews when I do the review by color. Um, right now I'm still working on my reds, and I have a lot more to get through. Uh, I have two videos of those, so I'll link those in the bottom if you want to check those out. They're more in-depth. One of them has Chris in it. Uh, he's out with friends right now, so he's not going to be here, but my uh, dad's friends and family are upstairs for his 60th birthday today. Hi, birthday dad. Um, and so if you hear any ruckus in upstairs, that's that's them playing apples to apples. Um, so I'll get to it. I'm going to start with scent shots. Actually, I got a... Where did it go? I got a wick trimmer. Here's the box it comes in. Um, really handy, because you can't get uh, scissors way in the bottom of those jars, and Chris and I have actually been using an old pair of nail clippers, because it, you can get far in the, far enough in the jar and it works well, but we wanted something that was actually for the job. Here they are. So, here's what they look like. They're like little scissor things, and this little dish thing catches the, the fallout from the wick. And, um, so you just stick it in and snip it right off. And also, always keep your wicks trimmed to eight to a quarter of an inch. Uh, it prevents fires and all sorts of good stuff. And it'll keep your the jars from going too black and it'll keep the flame at the right at the right size. Each order comes with a little postcard from them which is so nice. Um, they used to have different ones. But now they've got some of the sweet treats and a comfort candle on on the front and I, apo I apologize for not having an unboxing but um, my mom went to go pick these up from my company at the state at the border to you know get it pick it pick up my package and she uh, opened the box so that they, it wouldn't look like weird carrying across this giant package across the border it wouldn't look suspicious so yeah that's why that happened but you know, I'll pro I'm gonna order again and I'll have unboxings, but I think that these are first impression videos are way better anyways, because you get to um, hear not just the name, but what I think of the scent. So, let's just get right into it. There's probably gonna be multiple videos. This one, I'm gonna do like 10 minute increments, um, around 10 minutes anyways, because there's 45 scent shots. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> Start with Ray's Hot Cocoa and Marshmallows. I've been really curious about this one because I wanted to get the the mug that she has with the marshmallows on top in this scent. It does smell like chocolate cocoa powder. Like not actual chocolate chocolate, but... And you can smell a little bit of the sweetness vanilla, vanilla-y scent from the marshmallows. I like this one. I think it's going to be a really comforting scent. Um... Coco Lime Verbena. It's a dupe for Bath and Body Works. This one smells so good. The body lotion in this scent was like my favorite body lotion. I ran out of it just this past summer. This one's definitely candle worthy. Um, oh, also, uh, some of these scents haven't cured fully, so they're not going to have the full scent, but whatever. Oh, it's so good. You can smell the lime and the coconut and... The verbena just gives it that like green freshness. Mm. It smells almost exactly like the Bath and Body Works. DKNY Delicious. I apologize if my there we go. Um, I'm gonna have to hold it that close just so it fo um you can see it because it's quite bright in this area. It's my dad's office area. I have no idea what the perfume smells like, so I apologize, but. It smells like a perfume I would wear. It actually kind of has that like alcoholish note. Like you know how before the perfume evaporates fully? Yeah, it's really good. It's fresh and 
fresh and fruity, quite girly. It's really nice. I'm bad at picking out the specific notes in perfume though because they generally just have that perfuminess. <laughs> um, but I I'll try my best I can. But it's it's really nice. It's um it's not overly sweet. It has a little bit of musk to calm it down. But it's definitely a summer fun scent, not like a winter warm scent. Uh, country bumpkin. Oh wow, I'm only I'm already at like almost seven minutes. Mm, this one's really spicy. Um, I find with some of her cinnamon scents, it at first it smells like the red hot um, cinnamon, but after a while it um turns into that bakery warmness of cinnamon. This one's mostly cinnamon though. And some nutmeg. Maybe some like baked fruit like apples or pumpkins. I remember the scent description for this one being super complicated, so when I get to my oranges, which shall be soon, which shall, shall be soon, shall be soon, uh, you'll hear the full description of that one. Love Spell, which is ever popular. It smells like fruit punch, but in a perfume. This one's weird, I like it. Um, I think it has a floral in it, but it's not a heavy floral. It's like a fresh spring floral. But it's mostly fruity. A little bit of sweetness, which probably is from vanilla. But vanillas tend to not come out fully when it's cold. They always come out way more when it's cured and warm. And melted. Bergamot and herbal mint. I was thinking that this one might smell like Earl Grey tea, because it has er the flavor that Earl Grey has is from bergamot. And it, do it doesn't smell like tea, but it has that florally um, florally scent that, that Earl Grey has. It's mostly mint. It kind of smells like the, the peppermint from candy canes, actually. Um, and it has that floral sweetness from the, the bergamot. It's really nice. I think this is going to be a good one for, um, like summer on when you want it to just like feel cool in the room like smell like it's cool next one is kimono silk this one was new for february i want to say it's recent anyways it's so nice it's so it's very feminine without being girly it's like a womanly feminine it's definitely a fruity floral i think this is supposed to have grapefruit in it and i think i can pick that up. If it doesn't have grapefruit in it, I apologize, but it's a little bit citrusy. Like, there's this tanginess that can say it's from his citrus, I guess. It's got florals, like I said, and it's sweet. Oh, it's so nice. It's very, it's definitely a fruity floral. It's more on the fruit side, I think, than the floral. Oh, yeah. This is her new red color. Like, it's such a deep red. I feel like when there's when there's too much dye in it, it leans towards purple, and I wasn't sure like which color category to put them in, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be red, because some of the strawberry scents had that color. Um, ooh, this one was probably my favorite out of the whole order. Green apple. I think the description says it smells like uh, green apple Jolly Ranchers, and it totally does. Oh, it smells so good. Definitely a summertime scent, definitely candle worthy, like completely candle worthy. Mmm, it's so good. It smells, I suppose you could say it smells a little bit like it could be a soap or shampoo, but it's so tangy and sweet and mmm, it's delicious. Chocolate Peppermint Splash. This is different than her chocolate mint, I think. Um, chocolate peppermint is supposed to be a dark chocolate and heavy on the peppermint, I think. And it also has cream in it. This one's really nice. I want, I'm curious as to see how it compares to chocolate mint, though. Um, the mint is the, in this is like the mint shots that you get in, like a mint flavor shot. And the chocolate's not super strong right now. But it's definitely like a creamy mint right now, at like the insides of peppermint patties. And so I'm hoping the chocolate comes out more, which I'm sure it will, um, when it's finished curing and when it's warmed. 
I'll do one more so I can keep like 10 to a video, I guess. Genevieve's Tea Ring. This one's really nice too. It's a spicy scent. Yeah, it's spicy and bakery. It has like this bready note, which is really nice. It's got a little bit of red hot cinnamon, but not, not very much. It's got nutmeg. It kind of smells like a chai tea and regular tea mixed together, but like a spicy chai tea with, with milk. Definitely add it with milk or cream in it. So that's it for this video. Uh, check out my next one. I'll probably be uploading this these ones at most a day apart. Like I might be uploading them right next to each other. I don't know. But here's this is the end of part one to my March 1st order. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.